Hello teachers, in this video we will discuss how you can create question papers for your half yearly exams, unit test exams, periodic test and even annual examinations only in 2-3 minutes. For this we will open examinate.com and then click on this start button. Then we will select class and subject. Let's take CBSE, class 10th and mathematics. Click OK. As we need question paper on CBSC examination pattern, we will select all questions. Then uh, question paper type will be question paper PDF and Word. And in blueprint mode, we will select Express to do it faster. In Express mode, we can create question papers for unit test, periodic test, half yearly examination or even for annual examination. But if you want to create a question paper for language subjects, we will do it some other way. Then we will select the PDF header and footer that you have already added and then test paper name. Then in time allowed we will write 180 for 3 hours. You can also add watermark to your PDF files. If you want to add, you will click it and you will enter the text that you want to show as watermark. But in school exams, we don't do it. Then we will put general instructions as per our requirement here. I am leaving it blank for now. Then we will click terms of use and then next. On the next screen, we will show you all the chapters. You just need to select the chapters that you want to give in your examination and then create the paper accordingly. But before creating a paper, you must know the pattern of the examination. For this, let's go to CBSE official website and check the pattern. We will go to cbseacademic.nic.in, then sample papers, then class 10th. Here uh, we are creating question paper for math standard. So let's click on sample paper. And here we can see that section A is having 20 MCQs. So we need to add 20 MCQs from different chapters. Then uh, we will add uh, 5 uh, questions to marker, 6 3 marker and 5 4 marker questions. And apart from that there will be 3 case studies for 4 marker each. So, uh, based on this pattern, we will create our question paper for half yearly examination. So, let's go to our page. So, we are taking first five chapters for our half yearly examination. So, let's take real numbers, then polynomials, then pair of linear equations, then quadratic equations, and then arithmetic progressions. So, we have taken five uh, chapters. Then we will click on all topics. So, uh, we are taking uh, four MCQs from this chapter. So overall 20 MCQs we have uh, added, 5 to marker uh, means let's take 1 from this chapter. So this way we have taken 5 2 marker questions, 6 3 marker questions. So we, we have to take 2 questions from 1 chapter. So uh, I am taking 2 questions from this chapter and 1 question from other chapters. Uh, so this way you can decide your own blueprint actually. So overall. 6 3 markers we have selected. Section D has 4 questions of 5 marker. So let's take 1 question from arithmetic progression, 4 5 markers we have taken. Then we need 3 case studies uh, of uh, 4 marker and there will be only 3 questions. So 1 case study I am selecting. So let's make it 3. Uh, per question marks is 1. Uh, we will change it in next uh, screen actually. Uh, we will group it as one question. As per the syllabus, we have taken 20 MCQs, 5 uh, 2 marker, 6 3 marker, 4 5 marker and 3 case studies of 3 marks. But actually it is of 4 marks. So in next screen, we will change these uh, 3 case studies to 4 markers. Then it will become 80 marks. So after that, uh, there is option to short by and section by. In CBSC, we will keep it short by question type and section by marks. But even if you forget it here, uh, we can do it on next screen also. So let's take it as it is so that I can show you how you can do it on next page. So this way you can create question papers for your periodic test, unit test and half yearly exams and even for your annual examination on the same exam pattern. Now we will click on this save and continue. Then uh, we need to wait for some uh, time on this screen at least for 10-15 seconds and then we will click on this refresh button. Now the first task that we will do on this screen is 
we will change the marks of case study questions from 3 to 4. So let's move to case study section. Uh, this is the case study. This is the first case study. Uh, we will click on actions and then edit question marks. We will change the marks to 4. 4. Then update. Same way, uh, we will go to the second case study and then click edit question marks then make it 4. Then go to the third case study, click actions, click edit and then make it 4. So now the total marks is 80. But the problem is the questions are not in the pattern and there are no sections on this screen. This is showing one marker then 3 marker, 5 marker, again 1 marker, then 2 marker, 5 marker. So, it is just like uh, hustle bustle in this question paper that we need to correct. So, for this, we will go to the end of this page and then there is the option to short by and section by. Click edit and then we can select it. As per the CBC exam pattern, we will sort it by question type and section by marks. Section by marks means one marker will be kept in one section, two marker will be kept in second section and three marker will be kept in third section. Like this we want and we have selected as per our requirement. Then we will click on this save button and see section A is created and all one markers are in section A. This way. And then section B is having all two marker questions. Section C is having all three marker questions. And section D is having uh, these case studies of four markers. And section E is having five marker questions. Total 80 mark questions we have created. Now the next step is you must go through all the questions and check uh, whether the question is as per your requirement or not. If you find that this question is not uh, suitable for your examination, you can click on actions, then click replace question and you will get multiple options to replace this question. On this screen, it is showing that this question was asked in 2023 examination. So, you, we can select this question, click replace and this question is replaced. The same way you can replace all the questions as per your requirement and you can also make some changes if it is required. For example, if uh, you want to edit this question, click on edit and then you can make necessary changes to the question and the options here. Then click save the options and the question as per your modification will be changed. You can also change the marks uh, if you want. So, uh, in this action button, you can make all the changes as per your requirement. You can move the question up and down. You can add internal choice. Yes, internal choice we forgot. Let's see how we can use uh, this option and create the question paper exactly same as the CBSC exam paper. So, let's go to uh, this question paper and see where the internal choice is given. So, uh, first internal choice is given in question number 24. So, let's go back and go to question number 24 we have to add one internal choice. So, click this actions and then click add internal choice, click yes, one internal choice will be added to this question. And let us go back and see in question number 25 also there is one internal choice. So, question number go to question number 25, click actions and click add internal choice, click yes, one internal choice is added. And if you want to replace this question, you can also click actions and click replace question and this internal choice will be replaced. And if you have added some internal choice by mistake, if you click on actions, you have the option to remove the internal choice also. This section having case study question, we are having one internal choice for two marker question. Question number two is having internal choice, question number two and again question number two. All question number two is having internal choice and uh, this also. So, let us take uh, the first case study, go to question number two, add, then click add internal choice, yes. Uh, if you get some uh, this type of error, you can replace the question and then add internal choice. Then click actions, click add internal choice, click yes. Oh, it is showing that no question available for internal choice. So, we will change it, replace question, uh, replace it and then add internal choice. 
yes it is done so uh, now our question paper is ready uh, for 80 markers with internal choice with uh, with all the things that we need and at the end of this page uh, you can add general instructions again uh, the general instruction uh, pop up is here uh, you can change the name you can change the header uh, of this question paper you can also change the time allowed if required and then at the end we will click generate paper then click ok the question paper will be generated so we need to click refresh so in actions this is the question paper this is the complete question paper as per our uh, requirement the whole question paper you can find here and the same way if you click on this refresh button click actions and solution is also there uh, you can get the complete solution of this question paper apart from this question paper you can also generate word file and two column pdf so click on actions and then click generate two column question pdf click yes and uh, wait for a moment uh, two column pdf will be generated click refresh so this way two column pdf will also be generated this will be a page saving effort for you then we can also generate a word file of this question paper this is very important because in most of the schools we know the question paper format will be different so uh, as per their school requirement they can change the question paper format if it is available in word file so to generate the word file we will click on actions then we will click on this generate microsoft word then click yes your word file will be generated click refresh and then click actions this is your question paper in word file format click this this will be downloaded in your laptop desktop or mobile phone then you can access it so now we have opened this question paper in word file format and here you can make necessary changes as per your requirement you can uh, change the font styling format everything uh, you can just select it and if you want to change the font select your font and you can also change the font size as per your requirement once you are done with the editing work as per your school or institute requirement you need to remove this page border for this you will click on this link and then select the tab, uh, no border from page setting and it is done and if this button is not visible on your screen you can simply right click anywhere on this screen then click table properties then uh, select border and shading and then click none click ok click ok again and this border will be removed and now it is uh, ready to print as per your school or institute format I hope this video will definitely help you to create question papers for your half yearly exam, unit test, periodic test, annual examinations within minutes as per the format provided by your school or institute. Thank you for watching.